Hi and welcome to this video on setting up Discord webhooks using the admin interface. In this video, I will be setting up a Discord channel to receive commit updates from GitHub using Discord webhooks. We would begin by creating a Discord channel to receive the GitHub updates. Then, we would add a Discord webhook to the channel and use the webhook URL to set up a connection on HookDeck. With this connection in place, we then create a Discord webhook on the repository and subscribe for the commit updates. Finally, we test our connection by pushing updates to the GitHub repository. This will automatically post commit messages directly into our Discord channel. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. So to begin the tutorial, let's go over the requirements and steps that will be taken to achieve our setup. The first thing we're going to need is a Discord account. So you need a Discord account you own. That means you have all permissions on the account. Then also we need a GitHub account with a repository that we can experiment with. And we need a HookDeck account. You can sign up for a HookDeck account at this address. Now for the steps, we would first be setting up a Discord server. Then we'll set up a Discord channel on the server to receive the commit messages from GitHub. Then we are going to create a Discord webhook on that server that points to this channel. The webhook we're going to create is going to point to this channel so that this channel receives the commit messages from GitHub. Then we create a hook deck connection to ingest, monitor, and asynchronously forward our GitHub notifications to Discord. A hook deck connection is going to ensure that our webhooks are processed asynchronously so that when we have things like spikes, none of the webhooks are dropped. After that, we create a GitHub webhook that triggers when a commit is made. That means when you push updates to your code, the GitHub webhook is triggered and it would be forwarded to the Discord channel. So those are the steps we're going to be taking. And now that you're all caught up, let's begin. So I'm just going to go to my browser and here we have our Discord account, our OogDeck account and the GitHub repo that I'm going to be using for this demo. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a server. Let's create a Discord server. This is going to be mine and it's for me and my friends. I'm just going to call it Ficayo server. Just go with the default. And there we have our server. Welcome to Ficayo server. Now on this server, I'm going to create a new channel. It comes with a general channel by default, but I'm going to create a new one and call this channel testing webhooks. As you can see, this is a text channel and click create. We're going to be making this a public channel, not a private one. So we're not going to be toggling the private channel toggle button. So we have a testing webhooks. That's the channel that's going to be receiving the GitHub commit messages. Now, the next step is to create a webhook on this server. And to do that, I'm going to click this down arrow beside the server name. Then go to server settings. Here on server settings, to create a webhook, we're going to click on integrations here on the side menu. And as you can see, we have webhooks. We have no webhooks right now. So to create a new webhook, let's just click create webhook. This automatically has the webhook for us. You have the webhook name and the channel that this webhook is attached to. I'm just going to leave the name as default because it has no impact on this tutorial. I'm going to set the channel to the channel that we created, which is testing webhooks. And once you're okay with all the settings here, just click save changes. And here we have our webhooks pointing to this channel, testing webhooks. Before we leave this page, let's ensure that we copy the webhook URL. I'm just going to copy that and paste somewhere here. So you want to paste your webhook URL to somewhere that you can retrieve it. So yeah. So we'll copy the webhook URL. And the next step we're going to be taking, let's go back to our steps. We have set up our Discord server and channel. We have created a Discord webhook and it's now time to create a hook deck connection to ingest the webhooks. I'm going to go back to the browser, go to my hook deck dashboard and on the side menu here, I'll click on connections. To create a new connection, click the create button at the top right corner. And here we get a form where we can create a new connection. So for the source, I want to create a new source and my source is going to be the GitHub repository. So I'm just going to call this demo GitHub. So the source is the demo GitHub repo because the webhooks are going to be coming from GitHub. And for the destination, I want this to go to the demo Discord channel. Now these are just names you're giving to your source and your destination. They have no functional implication. Click on new to ensure that you're creating a new destination. I didn't do that earlier, so I'm just going to repeat the name. Demo Discord 
channel. Good. Demo Discord channel and the destination URL is going to be my webhook URL. That's the one we copied from Discord. So I'm just going to copy this. Go back to my Ookdeck dashboard and paste that in there. So that's going to be the destination URL where Hookdeck is going to forward all the webhooks coming from GitHub. Enable delivery rate limiting. I'm not going to touch that. For the rule set, I'm just going to pick a default rule set. I'm just going to type in demo rule set as the name of the rule set and just go with the default uh, configurations. And here under the name, you can confirm that your names are correct. That's for your source to your destination. It's going from our demo GitHub repo to the demo Discord channel. And this looks good, so let's click save. With the new connection saved, we now have the connection listed up here. Demo GitHub repo goes to demo Discord channel. And here we need to pick up our Ookdeck webhook URL. So here we have a link that says copy webhook URL. So click that. And I'm also going to paste it somewhere here. Just have that. So we now have a webhook URL from Ookdeck, and this is the webhook URL we're going to be using on github to create our github webhook so let's go back to our steps we have created the ookdeck connection and now it's time to create to create a github webhook that triggers when a commit is made so let's go back to the browser and i'm going to go back to the repo that i showed you earlier that's a github webhook practice to create a new webhook on github click on the settings tab and on the side menu go to webhooks and then click add webhook to add a new webhook now here in the payload URL, you have to paste in your Ookdeck URL. So I've pasted that in. Now, one thing to note is that Discord has a format in which it receives its webhooks. That is the webhook object that is coming from external sources. There's a particular format that it has to be in for Discord to pass it. Now, GitHub webhooks are not sent in that format. So for Discord to recognize that this is a GitHub webhook and pass it correctly, you need to append forward slash GitHub slash github this is very very important else you're going to get an error because discord is going to bounce your webhook now this is not the same for every provider i have actually not uh, confirmed how many providers require this for discord to pass their webhooks but this is a very important step when you're integrating github with discord now for the content type select json and we're just going to leave the rest as default no secret we want to just get a push event and we want to have our payload delivered. So I'm just going to click add webhook. And here we have our webhook successfully created. Now let's go back to our steps to see what next. So we have created a GitHub webhook and it is time for us to test and inspect the setup. So how do we test this? This webhook is triggered when a new push is made to the GitHub repository. So the best way to test this is to update this repository and push a commit here at the root of the project i'm just going to run ls so this project contains just a simple readme file and i'm going to open up that readme file just some bunch of text so what i'm going to do is add more text i'm just going to add more text put a comma after adding more text and say even more even more text i'm just going to go back to command mode and save that then let's say git status, git add, then git commit. Just going to give you the commit message of text added. Then let's push. Now that we successfully pushed, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a beep. There was a beep sound. And let's trace what is going on. So we have pushed a update or an update to our GitHub repository. And if I click on this webhook, go to the delivery section. You see there's one delivery. This is the most recent delivery. This is a ping delivery. It's something that GitHub does when you complete the process of setting up a webhook. It just sends you this ping event. But this is the one we just pushed. And if we go to our Ookdeck dashboard and go to events, as you can see, we're getting an event for our demo GitHub repo that goes to our Discord channel. This is the one for the ping event. This one doesn't send any message to your uh, Discord channel, but this is the one we just pushed. This is the update we just pushed. And as you can see, we have the attempt. We have the um, event details here, the headers, the body. But to see this clearly, I'm just going to click this arrow so that we can go to the full event page. 
As you can see here, we have some metadata for the webhook. We have the headers. You can expand this to view all the headers. And as you can see, the GitHub event that was triggered is push. And if we go to the body section down here, we can actually see the details of the webhook payload. Now, I know that what you're most interested in is making sure that the message is delivered to your Discord channel. And if you can remember, there was a beep sound. And if we go to our Discord channel, let's close this. Testing webhooks channel. And if you go down here, you can see the GitHub bot has delivered a message. It has delivered the commit message to our Discord channel successfully. I think if I click this, I should be able to go straight to, uh, yep, let's see what goes on there. Okay, yeah, I'm able to go to the commit directly. So there you have it. We have now been able to successfully integrate GitHub with Discord through OogDeck by setting up a webhook that receives commit messages from GitHub. If you have gained something from this video, do remember to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on Discord webhooks and webhooks in general. Happy coding.